Fun facts about Columbus, Georgia. One, it's in Georgia, not Ohio. Two, the population is 280,000 people. Three, Columbus, Georgia is home of the largest army installation in the world, Fort Benning. Four, corporate headquarters to such businesses as Aflac, Carmike Theaters, and Charbroil. Five, the original formula for Coca-Cola was invented in Columbus, Georgia in the 1860s. Six, while numerous cities claimed to be the site of the last battle of the Civil War, it was in fact a little-known engagement on April 16, 1865 in Columbus, Georgia that was the actual location of the last battle of the Civil War. And seven, Columbus, Georgia hosted the 1996 Olympic softball competition. Now you know. <laughs> This is your number one, Simeon Hendrix, and today we are in Columbus, Georgia for Creative South Design Conference. Creative South is an annual gathering of heavyweight, hard-hitting, creative thinkers, entrepreneurs, and graphic artists from all across North America. Education, inspiration, and to meet and hang out with some of our heroes. I'm gonna take a few minutes, uh, I'm gonna throw out a prayer for this thing. Uh, so if you guys could take your hats off, bow your heads for me, I sure would appreciate it. Father God, thank you so much for this evening, for just giving me this morning. Thank you for uh, bringing all these rad people to Columbus, Georgia, to be together, to inspire each other, to do good cool things for you. Just uh, lift this up for your glory. Keep all of our friends and family safe. Let us have an awesome time together. And uh, just praise you and thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yeah. All, right, all right, appreciate that. Basically, the way it's going to work, we've got about 50 seats in every room. The bar is through here. This is the green room. Upstairs is the globe room. So pick a spot, pick a speaker until the space is full. If it's full, move on to the next spot. That's it, that's how we get done. My name is Brooks Chambers. I hail from Mama's Sauce Gourmet Print Shop in Orlando, Florida. I'm at Creative South 2013. My name is Rocky Rourke, I'm from Statesboro, Georgia, and I'm here for Creative South. I am Alex Ware. I am Daniel Stewart. We are Ware Stewart. Live from Creative South 2013. It's one of those conferences, which is rare, that you show up and you feel instantly kind of accepted. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm Canadian, long way from home. So it's really cool when you come and you hang out with people. Everybody's in it for in it for the same reasons. You know, we don't, we don't, we're don't we not looking for Photoshop tricks or whatever. It's just like we want to be inspired, want to be creative, want to share our work and meet like-minded individuals, right? So this is a great conference. Small and tidy and intimate, for lack of a better word. You know, like, it's yeah. good. It's a really good vibe. And now, James, uh, you're, you dress metal. You know, you you there's metalists all throughout your work, and you talk about metal in your your video you know your weekly post that you put up uh who's your first metal band and who's your favorite metal band right now oh boy okay i'll tell you my favorite metal album oh, right, okay, uh, right off the bat is uh at the gate slaughter of the soul like 1994 those guys were 15 years ahead of their time easy okay right? 
Now, my first metal act, I guess, like, I kind of had to segue. I didn't have a lot of, like, friends that were into metal back in the day. So, like, Bon Jovi was my first sort of hard rock, if you can even call Which it album? that. New Jersey. Okay. Yeah, Mine which is good, man. Oh, Slippery yeah. Wet. Okay, yeah. yeah, same thing, right? But uh, growing up here in Motley Crue and all that stuff, I was never a big Metallica fan. I recognize their significance. Never a big Metallica fan. So, um, and I guess currently my favorite metal act would have to be... Oh man, that's a toss-up between Mastodon and Iron Maiden. Like those two, man, it's just like modern and the classics, but they both kind of have the same vibe. Like I know that Mastodon is very heavily influenced by old Iron Maiden, oh, yeah, you know? Sure. So it's like, that'd be top of the heat. Uh, James, um, we appreciate you so much taking the time to talk to us. Is there any uh, words you'd like to send out to your, your mom, your dad, your family, anybody out there, or anyone in the world? Hey mom, I'm in the deep south. I think that's what they call it. So, uh, yeah, a big thanks to everybody that's watching this that supports the creative community, including my parents. And uh, keep creating stuff, man. Put it out there. We need you. My name is James White, Signal Noise, and I'm at Creative South 2013. Creative South. Creative South. Creative South 2013. Creative South. Creative South. Creative South 2013. I talked with Jeff Finley about the series of artwork he created while in his former band, Parachute Journalist. We never released an album. We just released single after single after single after single whenever we were finished. It was for me to design stuff that was influenced by things I liked online. You know, I was like, I had my taste of design and, and I thought it was cool, but I never had any opportunities to make cool stuff. So I just said, I'm going to make cool stuff for Parachute Journalists, even though we're like a folky pop punk band. Uh, the stuff that I'm making doesn't necessarily have that same vibe, like some of the stuff have kind of a prog metal vibe going on, but that's not totally what we sound like. Just recently joined up and started a new band called Campfire Conspiracy. Oh, okay, I didn't know that, okay. Yeah, we are more straight up punk than, okay. than anything I've done, which is I'm happy with. We've got the man, the legend, the myth, Mr. William Beachy here with us. I'm really excited to be down here in uh, Columbus, Georgia, um, speaking at uh, Creative South. Totally impressed. Love, love the city. When you come to something like this, you feed off of what everyone else is doing. That's, that's what I'm here for. What are you going to be talking about today? Jeff and I are going to talk a little bit about trying to figure out how to balance your passion projects with paying your bills. So I think all artists have got a long laundry list of stuff they want to do. And then they got a pile of bills they got to pay. So we're, we're just going to talk a little bit about trying to find that balance. Make sure you make it up to Cleveland for WMC Fest, WMCFest.com. My name is William Beachy, president of Go Media, and I'm here at Creative South 2013. Creative South. Creative South. Creative South 2013. so much epic talent that I had no idea was within such a close proximity. This is unbelievable. This has got to happen next year, bigger and better, but this is absolutely fantastic. Creative South. Creative South. Creative South 2013. 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 The headlining act for Creative South 2013 was Mr. Aaron Draplin. He's a living legend. He's a tall tale. He's a mythological creature. Standing next to him is like standing next to a ghost. No one would ever believe you if you told them you were standing next to him. The, the font that I see in your work that is reminiscent to me of maybe 1950s, yeah. 1920s is Futura Bold. Futura Bold, yeah. And so I love your, you know, the, the orange background, the grit. It looks like it's uh, from 19... What, what, what year is that from well, reminiscent of? I think, I think what it, it's reminiscent of is uh, pure function. Okay. Right? I liked the idea of like 
no pretentiousness, like no, zero, zero pretentiousness, right? right? It's just purely there to do its job. Yeah. And isn't it funny how that's a beautiful thing too? Uh -huh. Like there's really no design to it. And why that's effective now in 2000, you know, what, 13 or something, or was in 2006, you know, 1963, or a ration can in 1945, because okay. it was readable. Yeah, yeah. So it's readable somewhere scary, like in a, in a foxhole or something. It's readable. You know, in 1950, a uh, 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 post-war boom on some little manual how to build your lawnmower. Mm. That doesn't. That never goes out of fashion. Does that make sense? That I will feel never I, go that out seems of fashion. To be true. So they hit on something that was just pure functionality. Now, what I love about that is when you strip everything else away. That's not about design or money or big or whatever. It's just about it doing its job, it's being a workhorse. When did you fall in love with? your attention to detail to kerning and oh. fonts and typography? Well, I think, oh man, that's a great question. We're, we're still rolling with the rain. I don't we're care. Gone. I've been we're waiting all, I've been waiting all day he's, to do this. He's been telling me, he was like, Simeon, I don't care what you do today, but you're not going to stop until we okay. interview. It's just this idea that as designers, we have, you know, you, you can't necessarily rely on what comes out of the package sometimes if it's just tick, 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 and that's yeah. it. You have to kind of go take a look at it. And we have control over that. And to learn that, for me to customize things, it just really, so I don't know what date that was, but I think it was sort of in the mid 90s where okay. I just realized that like, oh man, we, we get to do this. We get to have control over those little items, you know? And here is someone typing the name Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. -N -N -A -H. And you said it in one of their grungier typefaces back in the day. And it would freak me out that the two ends, same characters looking dirty, would be the same kind of dirty. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. would, that's not the way it would work if you were making this dirty piece of type, right? Right, right. I would take that, those two H's and make them a little bit different. The two A's make them a little bit. Now that's extra stuff. The two ends make them a little different. And the idea is, I want it to be authentic to what it would really look like, right? Yeah. So that control, um, that's where I started to nerd out on this stuff. I never indulge in any of this crap where it's just good enough. I'd probably lose my ass on like fees and stuff, okay. but I don't care because I'm not going to let it go knowing that I could have made it better. Yeah. Right? Here's another thing I like to, I like to think about. When you would take little pieces of type and set them in something, those guys sweated for years. Okay? Yeah. Like it's hard. Yeah. It's like hard. Yeah. You gotta lift things, you know? Yeah. Imagine that. I lift a mouse finger. That's the, it's a whole different world. Have a little respect from where it came I love, from. Right? I love that about you, Aaron, that you're so um, respectful <laughs> and... Um, Considering what, how I talk today well, in there no, for no, all those you, people? You demand, what an animal. No, yeah, listen. The mayor called me, told me to get out of town by nine. What time he is it? demands respect to our elders that have paved the way for us as designers in 2013. If you look here, I've got, you know, this is one of probably, you know, I don't know, 15 to 20 drawers filled with these things. So, I mean, as you go through here, you know, I've got any number of all the big feed and seed brands from all over America. You know, I mean, a lot of the stuff was just meant to promote their new brand, their new seed, the new whatever technology. You know, there's also where are the memo books yeah. at right now? What do you, where are they going? Well, Your archive? Oh, they're, they're back in Portland. It's in a big old flat file, but okay. you know they're online. Yeah. So fieldnotesbrand.com, and you go look for the memo books section, and it's like, I just want the idea that we can rescue those things and have them on there for everyone to enjoy. Yes. Not to mention farmers. I'm getting letters from oh, farmers I didn't saying, think about well, that. saying, I want to donate to your thing, and I'm like. Oh, now that's the real, that's as real yeah. as it gets. And then You're so the then, museum for so it, So then dude. I can say, all right, here we go. You know, you g send them to me or I'll send them back and, or you give them to me and they're going to be in a good place and I'll cement those into this little thing and that's for you and you and all you guys to enjoy because I don't want them to go away, right? Now listen, I went to a Native American reservation and they have such great stock, great stock in their elders. For us, it was like, man, this is nuts that, you know, 80% of the people coming to this thing are not from our state. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're not even from our you know, yeah. area. They drove 12 hours or flew on a plane across the country to be here in our little tiny town. Yeah. That blows my mind. There, I mean, there's so many. There there's so many. Know, there's so many points too. where I'm like, oh, that was so much fun. Or all that conversation, or all this and all that. Yeah. For me personally... Being able to pray over everybody before Amen. was big for me. It meant a lot to me to be able to, to do that because yeah. that's not something you would normally see at a regular conference like this. I wanted to have the sense of God's behind it. 
and you know southern hospitality yeah. you come down here we're gonna hug your neck yeah we're gonna feed yeah. you good we and you're gonna both. and yeah both. and you're gonna leave and you're like man that was so i cool. can't wait to come back last words final words you like to say to anybody out there my wife your wife <laughs> yeah she broke her foot a week before the conference but nobody got to see the times that she sat up at all the nights i had meetings for this event and stayed home with our four children or you know had this ready or did our books or they don't get to see her behind the scenes. I love you. Right now, I'm just so amazingly proud of where he's come in the last, I guess, three years now. Yeah. This little dream he had three years ago to bring awareness to the design community just in our little neck of the South here. I thought, wow, it's a big, it's a big dream. And um, just seeing it grow from two speakers to four to 20. And I am just truly proud of him, his team, couldn't have done it without these awesome friends oh, no that doubt. are just no doubt they all have unique strengths that they brought together to make this happen and i, I mean i think it was a smashing success i, I agree with you uh, i'm proud I'll to be this. associated I, with it and i feel like we're blessed and we're blessed, blessed to do this yes mm -hmm. and, and to just it's just a little piece of something mm -hmm. but let's see how it gets big next year or where it goes uh, but i can't do it without her georgia Georgia, creative south on my mind, on my mind. We took a big jet plane from Texas to GA, and when we got there, what did we see? What did we see? Tall trees and several war buildings, roads paved with bricks and floors made of wood. Georgia, Georgia. Creative South on my mind. Bro, five in high five in soaking and learning. Inspiration flew like the mighty Chattahooch. We were learning. Inspirating from you, Georgia, Georgia, oh, creative south on my mind. Yeah. You're gonna break my hand. Oh, no. We should arm wrestle. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Arm wrestle. Two, three, four. Let's have some more. Jesus. The PSI. <laughs> I can't beat him. Come on, what you can destroy him. What you can finish him. Yeah. I'm just teasing. Look at that little chicken, little nub thump. What's up? It's like a little piece of sausage. It's a piece of sausage. You are messing with my mouse finger underneath there. You man mountain beast. Provider of, provider of five people. Come back over here, man. Come on, man. I'm hanging across the table, man. What you need? Come on. I got some big gnarly nails in there. Oh! I want to feel like the other side. This is some some roadhouse shit. Here. Over the top! Wait, 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 we're too far away. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ready?
You gotta be kidding me! Are you gonna go? Don't say that! Don't say that! Oh, oh, yeah. Alright, go, go. Really good. I, I am! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! You got it! That is unfair! That is unfair! Oh, come on, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. No, you're not gonna finish it! No, you're not gonna finish it! goes down, a part of the industry collapses. <laughs> 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 <laughs>